gentlemen, welcome to Mrs. Brown's boy. She's Mrs. Brown. That's Mrs. Brown. Oh, Mrs. Brown. For sale. Set of encyclopedias. No longer needed, as I married a man who knows every feckin' thing. <laughs> Hello, Winnie. Cup of tea? No, I'm grand, love. What's wrong with you? Shardin, she's depressed. With all the boyfriends she has, she has no date for Valentine's Day. Oh, they're probably all going out with their wives. <laughs> Agnes, what do you do when you're blue? I start breeding again. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want a cuppa? No, I'm heading down the shops to get a Valentine's Day card. For who? For Jacko, of course. <laughs> Do you want it while I'm down there? Nope. Valentine's Day, my arse. <laughs> Roger asked me one year what I'd like getting for Valentine's Day. I said, get me something with diamonds. <laughs> and he got me a deck of fucking cards. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Brown. Hello, Winnie. Hello, Betty. To what do we owe the honour? Just a quick visit. Oh, I thought so. That's why you didn't wash your hair. <laughs> Kathy was trying to get a book from me, she about? She's inside. Any word from the Australian Embassy about their emigration? No. Apparently it takes a while. Of course it does. Sure, it's on the other side of the world. <laughs> Winnie, are you not a bit old for this Valentine malarkey? You're never too old for romance, Agnes. I get the card every year, and on the night, I wear it kinky underwear. <laughs> <coughs> well, let's be off me fucking dinner. Which reminds me, I must get that underwear back from me cousin. Your cousin's a priest. <laughs> Don't get me started. <laughs> Who is that? Winnie. She's gone down to the shop to get a valentine before Chardon boils them all up. <laughs> I get you a cup of tea, love. Oh! You a bit stiff? I'm a bit old. Miss the gym again? Yes, that's ten years in a row. <laughs> What's the book, Betty? It's the ABC of six. A, B and C. <laughs> Three positions. Bono's getting to the age where he's starting to ask questions, so I want to be ready. There was no book to tell me what to do in my day. Well, it's all changed since your day. Yes, it has, Mammy. If you were going on a first date nowadays, a man would expect you to perform fellatio. <laughs> Me, sing opera. <laughs> He'd have a better chance of getting a blowjob. Right, I'm off. I'll drop this book back to you at the weekend, Kathy. <laughs> no problem. Mummy, have you thought about losing a few pounds? You are plumping up a bit. You should enter that competition in the newspaper. What's it called? Oh, the mind your own fucking business competition. <laughs> I see you do very well in that. All I'm saying is, fat is not good for you. This is not fat, Cathy. This is from all the years of carrying this family on my back. This is mother's muscle. <laughs> oh, I see. Yes. Oh, when I married your father, the two of us were skinny as sticks. Do you wonder we didn't start the fire when we went at it? <laughs> TMI. Timmy what? Too much information. K-Y-B-C-T-Y. <laughs> no, don't get it. Keep your book and comments to yourself. <laughs> you never wear that lavender dress anymore, and it used to be your favourite. Lavender, I don't, I don't remember. Yes, you do. It's up in your wardrobe and you don't wear it because it doesn't fit you anymore. It's shrunk in the wash. No, it didn't. <laughs> it did too. All I'll say is, take that dress out and take a good look at it and remember how good you used to look in it. I'll see you later. You mightn't recognise me after I finish my exercises. <laughs> really? Yes. That's enough of that. <laughs> Tried on that lavender dress today. And? I got the zip halfway up. It was like a straitjacket on me. <laughs> I was right, it shrunk. <laughs> it 
didn't shrink. Look, all you have to do is even take a walk every day. Say, two miles. Two fucking miles? <laughs> yes, you can do it. Just walk two miles every day, and in a month, I bet you'll be in Kildare. <laughs> Great shape. Thanks, Sharon. Sheldon, I believe you've no date for Valentine's. Nah, but I'd be all right. That's the girl. Be confident. I am. Watch this. Here! Whoever can guess what's in this bag can have sex with me on Valentine's night. A giraffe. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Hello, Winnie. You just missed Sheldon getting a date for Valentine's night. Oh, I'm glad. Who is this? That skinny little fellow over there. He better tie a plank across his arse, or we'll never see him again. <laughs> Man. Sorry. Here, Winnie. The jackpot at the bingo is going to be 2,000 euro on the 14th. We'll have a good night that night. On the 14th, Agnes? Yeah. I can't go with you on the 14th. That's Valentine's night. And Jacko's taking me out. Excuse me. You'll have to go on your own, pet. Jacko's taking me into town for tea and biscuits. For fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to it. I've never given blood before. Just as well it's not a four-course meal. <laughs> Might have cost you a fucking kidney. <laughs> Valentine's Day is making me laugh. Even Grandad has a date. That's it, Mammy. That's the goal you need. I need a goal now, who my David Beckham? <laughs> You should have a date for Valentine's night, and your goal would be to fit into that lavender dress by then. That's a great idea, Cathy. It's all right for you when you have a man, even if he's in and out of hospital all the time. Where would I get a feckin' date? Off the internet. Jesus, no, Cathy. With my luck, I'd end up with a fucking virus. <laughs> my cousin got a ting off the internet, and the legs were all bandy. She got a date with someone with bandy legs? No. It was a coffee table. <laughs> I'll arrange it and all. I'll just put your photo on the net and we'll see what happens. If you get any offers, you can pick the one you want to go out with. You might get a man like Jacko off the internet. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't get a man like Jacko with a fucking fish in that. I think it's a great idea, Mrs Brown going on a date. Well, I don't. <laughs> We're talking about our mammy here. Mammy, on a date? No way, Cathy. Mammy can't go on a date. It's not normal. <laughs> <laughs> you could do it clipping your shaft. <laughs> oh, Winnie, I see you found Betty's book. It's amazing what you can do with a bicycle pump in the Kit Kat. There's a man in here holding a woman like a wheelbarrow. <laughs> Go down a couple of pages, there's a woman holding a man like a one armed bandit. <laughs> and she's going for the fucking jackpot. <laughs> Can you imagine me doing that fucking wheelbarrow thing with red, sir? <laughs> <laughs> slow down, slow down. Take a left at the next light. <laughs> Don't go past me, mothers! It's just not right. And why not? Because she can't. Mammies don't go on dates. They they play bingo. Well, excuse me, Dermot, but Mammy is a person and a woman, and a woman has needs. Mm. Well, excuse me, the whole lot of you. Now, Cathy, I haven't decided one way or the other yet, so there's nothing definite. And you, son. If I do decide to go on a date, I won't be waiting on your permission. <laughs> Even Grandad has a date. That's Mammy's fault. She's given him Viagra. <laughs> You're giving Grandad Viagra, Mammy? Yes. Why would you do that? Buster said it would stop him pissing on his slippers. <laughs> Did it work? Kind of. <laughs> his slippers are dry. <laughs> It's on the book and ceiling.
Grandad, what did I say about these tablets? And I meant it. Cut down on these now. I went in to call you in your room this morning. Your bed was like a fucking tent. <laughs> I mean it. Cut down. I'll make you mop that ceiling yourself. <laughs> Wait a minute. I can have a go at this computer thing myself. I'm sure I can do just as good as Cathy and the Dayton. <laughs> Power on. Press any key to continue. <laughs> any key. There's no fucking any key on it. <laughs> try that one. <laughs> search. Yes, please. Search. What's there for search for what? Woman needs man. <laughs> oh, no, that's fucking Wogan. No. <clears throat> Woman needs man. Search. <laughs> you dirty bastard. Lady, lady, looking for love. Search. Jackpot. Jesus, they're gorgeous. Now, you see, I'd go out with any of them. Now, what's the name of that? Hey, Grandad. Cathy, is that you? Yes, Mummy. Come into the kitchen, quick. I think I hit the jackpot. I, I got on your top, 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 top. <laughs> I, I got on the Google. <laughs> and I Googled. <laughs> and I think I found the perfect site. Oh, there's loads of gorgeous men in the Cathy. I'd go out at any of them. Oh, fantastic. Right, what's it called? It's called a dial a dick. Gigolos. Well, there's nothing wrong with Spanish men. You pay these men and they come out and have sex with you. <gasps> oh, that's disgusting. Jesus, that's, that's immoral. It's, it's wrong. It's just complete... Oh, my God, you're going to get sick. How much do you pay them? <laughs> How come you never got another man? I don't know. I know. You got married for better or for worse. <laughs> yeah, that's it, yeah. He couldn't do any better than I couldn't do any fucking worse. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Is Kathy and Maria here? They're up at the bar talking to Sharon. Oh, I see them. How's Bono, love? Don't talk to him, Mrs. Brown. He has my heart broken. Ah. The sex education this week. He's asking me question after question. I don't know what to be telling them. Tell him the truth. He was found under a head of cabbage. Oh. <laughs> you see, Buster, love is a strange thing. You have to be careful. I know what you mean. Sometimes you need to use two bags in case the one over her head falls off. I mean, you have to be careful about where you place your love. Oh, I know where to place it, all right. <laughs> I have one rule. Never date a good-looking girl in case she leaves you. But an ugly girl could leave you too. I know, but who cares? I'm going to the jets. Thank you. All right, love? Yeah. All right, Caddy? You fancy going for a drink sometime? I'd rather stick cocktail sticks in my eyes. I'll take that as a maybe. <laughs> Any luck on the internet, Agnes? 
Caddy narrowed it down to three. Indigo 55, Ray-Ban 61, but the one she picked is Harry Harry 66. <laughs> He's coming over to our house on Valentine's night for dinner. Well, Harry Harry sounds interesting. Harry Harry sounds fucking hairy. <laughs> is there nobody called Paddy anymore? You know, you should skip the internet and go for somebody local. Like who? What about Jimmy McGinty? Would you feck off? <laughs> I wouldn't be his type. What type would that be? Inflatable. <laughs> Jesus, these knickers are killing me. I can't wait to take them off. <laughs> well, if you're lucky, you might get someone to take them off for you. Mm -hmm. With their teeth. <laughs> Well, you two are all right, going home to a man in your bed. Yeah. Well, excuse me. It's different when you're married, isn't it, Betty? Yeah, very. Dermy used to be so romantic. But not now. When will men learn that sex is not romance? On that note, let's drink up and go. Tonight is our night. Did you hear that, Buster? Not much after she said, take them off of me teeth. <laughs> what about Mikey Nolan for the date? I mean, he's a bit of fun. Mikey Nolan is feckin' mad. Do you remember the, the community dance? And he thought it would be great fun to strip off naked and run around the room and he's nude. And he's Willie whacking off everything. <laughs> Ugliest Willie I've ever seen. Looked like a blind carpenter's tongue. He had the tin cut off, didn't he? What? What you call that useless bit of skin at the end of a willy? A man. <laughs> the other end. Foreskin. Foreskin. <laughs> he had the circumvision. There was a chap who lived in Air Road used to help the rabbi with that. Huh? Yes, he used to collect all the little bits of skin. He used to make things out of them. Made my father a lovely wallet. It's gorgeous if you, if you rub it, it turned into a fucking suitcase. Where he is, right? I do take it for granted. I need to do something. A grand gesture, something big. A bus. <laughs> what? I have a friend. He works down the bus station. He sells the ads on the sides of them. If you want, I can have a chat with him. He could do us a freebie. How big an ad? As big as you want. I'll get you the whole bus if you want. Brilliant. I'll do it for Valentine's. <laughs> Tell him to Roy. Hang on, Dermo. <laughs> right, go ahead. Maria Brown is the most wonderful wife and mother in the world. And I love her. How do you spell that? Which word? All of it. <laughs> you won't find him in there. <laughs> I know exactly what you're looking for. Now, I'm going to give you a jump up, Johnny, tonight. Because tonight, I want you to go out, and I don't care if you never feckin' come back. <laughs> come on, fetch. <laughs> Give Smelly Nelly me best. <laughs> Winnie! How are you, Agnes? What are you doing over oh, here? just came over to wish you luck and tell you. Give him a good scene to... <laughs> hey, Winnie. Do you know the ABC book? Yeah. Do you remember the wheelbarrow thing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what did it look like? Oh, right. Well, he's here and you're there. Oh, is it the other? Tell you what, Agnes. Go right down there and I'll show you. No, 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 no. Oh. Agnes will only take no, a It's not minute. that feckin' important. Come on. What are you doing? 
doing? Agnes, if you do that twice a day for a week, you lose five pounds. <laughs> See you later. There's, there's Winnie. It was a thing that Winnie saw on, on Weight Watchers. <laughs> was it now? Do you want a cup of tea? No, Mummy, I'm heading over to Betty's. Mark has to work late, so she's no date either. OK. Give you a chance to have the house to yourself for the night. Yes. This is the first Valentine I remember that you don't have a date. I was thinking that earlier. Are you all right? I'm fine, Mammy. You're the one with the date. Are you all right? I I'm nervous, but I'm excited. Catty, do you know the tongue thing? Yeah. You know the skinny bit? Does that go to the front or the back? <laughs> the back? I fucking knew it. <laughs> I'm, I'm flossing the yang yang off myself. <laughs> Catty, what if he doesn't turn up? Ah, oh, Mammy, he will. He sounded keen. He did, didn't he? And I've been practicing my opera. <laughs> as far as I get, them, I get dizzy. <laughs> Mommy, fellatio it's is... It's hard to fucking sing. <laughs> Forget it, Mommy. Have a good night. Good night, love. <clears throat> How'd you do? How'd you do? <laughs> How'd you do? <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> Frightened a shite out of him. <laughs> oh, do sit down. Please do sit down. Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> oh, don't show me that. <laughs> I am a virgin. <laughs> oh, just a candle to say I love you. <laughs> and that's a candle to say keep your fucking hands to yourself. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, Harry! Hello! <laughs> Are you lost? Yes. I see. No, no, no. Well, keep in touch. Oh, lovely. He's not fit and common. I don't think he turned up. Hello, girls. Hi, Mummy. What are you two doing here? We were just heading down for a drink. We thought we'd drop in on the way to meet Harry. Well, tough luck. He didn't come, did he? He didn't even arrive, love. <laughs> Jesus, is this an invasion? What are you doing here and who are them feckin' flowers for? You. Aww. I didn't tell you, but my son didn't know it when he had a good thing. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> They're beautiful. I haven't had Valentine's flowers ever. Property of St. Francis Cemetery. <laughs> you bastard. You're just looking for another tablet. Here, off with you. And the next time you're in a graveyard, Grandad, hold on there. Save us all the fucking walk. <laughs> Who's the lucky girl, Molly or Nelly? Both. <laughs> We're having a threesome. <laughs> what are you doing here? 
I had to tell you what Dermot did for me for Valentine's. What? A bus. <laughs> a whole bus. And it reads, Maria Brown is the most wonderful whiff and mother in the world. <laughs> whiff? What's a fucking whiff? It doesn't matter. And I love her. Now, that's what I call romance. Well done, Dermot. What are you doing here? It's in the script. <laughs> well, there's one you can tell your children when you grow up. There was a time when I was a fucking typing error. <laughs> oh, not you two as well. How are you, Mammy? Oh, my God. Did you see the bus? Isn't it fab? I love Maria Brown. Not that. The other one. What, what other one? one? Well, it said, Cathy Brown is beautiful and she doesn't need her tits blown up. <laughs> Who in the name of God wrote that? It's hot in here, isn't it? Not as hot as it's going to be when I set fire to your eyebrows. <laughs> Look, I'm delighted to see all of you. And I know you're disappointed that my date didn't turn up. But it's still Valentine's night. So go on, all of you, go out and have a good time. Hold on, Buster. Maybe I will go for that drink with you after all. <laughs> Mammy, will you be all right? I'll be fine. Go on, off with you. Come on, you. Cathy, can I hold your hand? No. <laughs> Baby steps, Buster. Baby steps. <laughs> Good night. Enjoy yourselves. I love to see young people going out and enjoying themselves. Brown. That's Mrs. Brown.